Hey YouTube, welcome back to Tinker with Tools. Tonight we are going to be talking about the first ever Hilti purchase that I'm bringing to the channel. I did recently pick up a hammer drill and an impact driver from their Neuron lineup, so let's go ahead and talk about those tonight on Tinker with Tools. Several years ago when I started getting involved in tools, I would occasionally see people using Hilti tools, and they were always a little bit more expensive than I wanted to buy, especially when I was getting started with tools, but I was always intrigued by them. And then they came out with their Neuron platform, and that's where I started to pay a little bit closer attention, but I always had other tools that I picked up before because let's be honest, the accessibility to these tools isn't necessarily as easy as some of the other tool brands. So let's go ahead and talk about what you're getting here, and we'll talk about the models I bought, how I got them, and then we'll go through some testing and some comparison to some other premium tool brands that I think maybe are favorable comparisons to these tools. All right, so first off, this is going to be the Hilti Neuron Hammer Drill. It is model SF6H22. And then for the impact driver, I did pick up their impact driver. It's the Hilti SID622. And then I also picked up two batteries. This is going to be their four amp hour. This is going to be their 2.5 amp hour battery. I do have a Hilti store that is local to me. It is located near where I work. I will tell you that that experience is not like most tool purchases that you're going to make. Staff there was incredibly friendly and helpful. Um, and the gentleman that helped me out was able to get all my questions answered and get me the tools that I needed. Um, they don't come in fancy packaging by any means. They come in either bags or cardboard boxes. And that is just kind of what you're getting with Hilti. And I have to say my initial impressions were highly impressive about the tools. The numbers that the drill, the hammer drill specifically, is quoted on paper don't seem all that impressive. But when you go ahead and use it in practice, I do think it feels like a premium drill. The impact driver, on the other hand, has actually some very impressive specs on paper. And then when you use it, it certainly feels like a strong impact driver, but it's by no means going to be one of the faster impact drivers on the market. But it is well made. It does have a couple of nice features on it. And it is just a very simple, well-made, comfortable tool to use. And same thing with the drill. The grip on these is teetering on probably my favorite um, in terms of being up there. The DeWalt obviously is a very good grip, but this one is quite nice and quite premium. The tools are not small, especially when you start talking about the footprint of the Neuron battery. But where they are not small, they are well made. Let's go ahead and do some testing with these tools. So for testing tonight, we are first going to be running, as I mentioned, the new Hilti Impact Driver. I will showcase kind of the difference between the 2.5 and the 4, so you can kind of see that. I really think the Impact Driver feels more at home with the 2.5 amp hour battery. So we'll see if you're getting a significant performance bump going to the bigger battery on there so you can make that decision. As far as what we're gonna be running it against, we are just going to pull out two of the more premium impact drivers on the market. Now, as I mentioned before, I do not expect this impact driver to be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe speed wise with the M18, but the torque figure for it is actually far higher than that. So we're gonna try and put it in some more high torque situation and see if we start to see something there. The other thing we're going to be putting up against is the first generation of Makita XGT impact drivers.
Let's go ahead and test the drill and then we'll talk about full conclusions and the platform in general. All right, so now we're gonna be doing the Neuron Hammer Drill. First off, we're gonna be running the Bosch 1330. One of the main reasons here is because I am gonna be running on the four amp hour battery, so we're fairly comparable battery capacity wise. I get that this is an 18 volt battery, this is a 22. When I talk about the Neuron battery being big, I just wanna show you that this is an 18 volt and there is a lot of extra protection and space and everything around the battery. Now, obviously that comes at the, co at the cost of size. And then the other one, we are gonna run it against the 40 volt XGT hammer drill from Makita. All right, so now we are gonna run the same three drills over doing some drilling tests. We're just gonna do a couple of different things and then we'll come back over for some conclusions. And now the Makita. Okay, first the Bosch, the clear loser in that speed is about an inch and a quarter. The Hilti did about three and a quarter inches and the Makita buried it, which for that bit was about five inches. So that kind of gives you some comparison at how it was able to do it. Let's go ahead and get a little cleaned up and we'll get right back over to the bench. If you're looking for an impact driver and that's all you need, I don't think it is necessarily worth your time going up to the Hilti platform based on performance alone. Now there's other factors we'll talk about in a minute. That being said, I think it will get the job done. It will allow you to do it. Now I'm gonna cover reliability and the warranty in a minute. So hold on, if that's what you're getting ready to type down in the comments is the reason why you go with Hilti, we'll cover that. With the drill, however, on paper, the drill is the least impressive tool as it compares to these other two premium drills, but it holds its own. Now, does that mean it outperforms the Makita in these tests that we did? No, not necessarily, but I don't think that it is necessarily as lowly rated. It is a powerful tool, and even on this four amp hour battery, I think the most similar tool that I could compare it to is going to be that Bosch 1330. I know the specs are wildly different, but build wise and just kind of the feel of the tool, that is the one that I think it is most comparable to. And so if you like the feel of that drill, I think you're going to like the feel of this one. All right, so let's talk about some of the things that I do think make Hilti worth going for, even if the performance on some of their tools is not up there with the top performing tools. I think Hilti's goal is building a reliable tool that is gonna be capable of getting the jobs it's designed for done in a reliable and safe way for the end user. And so because of that, I think the tools are designed differently. Ergonomically, they are both very comfortable to use. The grip on that tool is extremely comfortable. The light on the front of this thing is my second favorite light. And the only reason it's second favorite is because Makita with that 173 over in Japan has just a little bit brighter and more pleasing tone to their color, but they are very similar. The light works really well, lights up your workpiece in a way that you're not going to have shadows from the bit 
or other things, it is a great light on a tool. When it comes to the hammer drill, on paper, I was expecting kind of middling performance, something that I wouldn't end up being impressed with, especially compared to the kind of the outrageous numbers I feel like they quote here. The performance on this tool is actually really good. It hits harder and is more powerful than you expect for the drill, and it feels like it is built to last. And those are some very endearing qualities in a tool, especially in today's seemingly eroding uh, tool quality in terms of how well things are built. This one feels incredibly well built, and I think that is certainly something. Sometimes tools, the way they design tools, I feel like they design them to look cool versus functioning in a very nice way. This one I feel like is built completely with the user experience in mind and being, like I said, a reliable, safe tool. So now let's talk about the biggest selling feature of Hilti Tools, and that is going to be the warranty. And on their website, you're gonna see it expressed as 20, two, and one. <clears throat> it's going to be a 20 year warranty on the materials and worksmanship. The next one is going to be the two year portion, and that is going to be two years wear and tear coverage. And then the last piece, the one, is it is a one day guaranteed in and out of their service centers. So from the time they receive the tool at their service center, they will get it fixed and back out in one day. So there you have it. That is the Hilti Neuron tools, uh, at least the two that I have. So far, I've been impressed and we'll continue to test these against other things. I'm looking to do a bigger, a little bit of a longer format test with individual categories like hammer drills. So we'll be able to see kind of where it stacks up and when we take into consideration some of those things like price and just some of the reliability and everything. So look for that to come out later on this year. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. If you like what you saw, hit that like button. And until next time, I'll catch you on Tinker with Tools.